Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back for another Fallout 4 mod review and today we have a treat because we are taking a look at the SIG MCX Assault Rifle by Subleader 100. That is right, Subleader's back with another amazing weapon mod. There is an awful lot to cover with this one as there are a ton of attachments and a lot of cool features so we're just going to go ahead and dive right in and try to cover as much as we can. So here we are in game with the MCX and we'll go ahead and get started with the part that everybody wants to know about and that is those custom animations and sounds. So we'll go ahead and do a mag dump with the base version of the weapon. And as you can see, that is a beautiful reload animation, but there are actually more. You can choose different reload animations with different magazine attachments. So let's go ahead and check those out. Starting with the quick eject animation. Then the dual mag animation. And finally the quick dual mag animation. Of course there are also custom melee and grenade throwing animations. As well as two different sprinting animations that you can select at the weapons workbench. Here is the regular. And then here is the tactical sprinting animation. Hey. So when it comes to the stats for the weapon, keep in mind my character has no perks, so these are the vanilla stats. It has a base damage of 20, has 556 five, rounds, has a fire rate of 136 because it starts with an automatic receiver, has a range of 107, an accuracy of 79, a weight of 7.6 pounds, and a value of 1,443 caps. And this weapon does have a leveled list patch, so you can download that to get this spawning in the world on enemies and at vendors. Otherwise, you can just craft it at the chemistry station under the weapon MCX category. And of course, you can always add it via the console. On top of all of that, there are actually three unique versions you can find in the world, the first of which can be found at the Museum of Freedom inside of this room. And it is the Wounding Automatic Heroic Pies MCX. No one likes British people, but this one is alright is the description of this weapon. Awfully funny. And has the wounding legendary effect. The next unique variant can be found at the Adam Cat's Garage. Head into the garage and in one of these closed doors you'll find Drifter's MCX, which comes with the Nocturnal legendary effect. Now this last one admittedly took me a minute to find, but it is at the USS Riptide. If you head down the ship, and immediately flip a U-turn, it is stuck inside of this here mutant, I'm assuming dolphin. And it is the ye old fishbone. You grab that and it has the poisoning effect. And this one actually has some nice little custom ye old fishbone engravings as well as a sticker. And some cool aesthetics. Really nice one, I like this a lot. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, jumping in and looking at the millions of attachments available for the MCX. For starters, we have our receiver options. We have our standard light frame, heavy frame, calibrated hardened, automatic, which is actually the standard for this weapon, automatic armor piercing, hair trigger, powerful, automatic hardened, calibrated powerful, automatic hardened piercing, advanced, and automatic powerful. Advanced being your highest damage semi-automatic and automatic powerful being your highest damage automatic receiver with 52 and 34 damage respectively. For ammunition you can choose between armor piercing, full metal jacket, and hollow point. Armor piercing will give you a little bit better damage as well as more penetration and then hollow point will just give you more raw damage. For stocks, we actually have some stock materials because I do have the additional material pack downloaded. You have black, brush, dark gray, gray, police, splinter, tan, tan alt, and woodland. Now all of these materials that you see here on this stock are actually going to be the same for each of the future sections. So if a material spot comes up again, we're going to go ahead and skip it because it's just going to be these repeated. For the actual stocks, you can choose to have a tube a BCM, BCM Unfolded, Colt or Colt Unfolded, CTR also with Unfolded, Collapsible with a Folded variant, Daniel Defense also Unfolded, Folding Collapsible, PRS, Skeletal, and Skeletal Folded, Skeletal Slim, 
Skeletal Slim Folded, the UBR, the UBR Unfolded, the Ultralight, the Viper, the Viper Unfolded, the VLTOR, as well as an Unfolded variant, the Visor, and the Visor Folded. For sights, we're going to have a lot to go through here. We have the Aimpoint Comp M4S, the Aimpoint T1, T2, and T2 with riser, the Axion Cobra, also with a magnifier, the Barska MRS Red Dot, the Bellamo PK-06, the Elkan C79, which is a 4x optic, the Elkan Spectre DR, also 4x, along with a bronze-colored variant of that scope, the EOTech EXP S3 Holoscope, along with a magnifier option as well, the EOTech Voodoo, which is a 6x scope, the Holosun HS510C, the Leopold LCO, the NPZ OKP7 sight, along with a magnifier option, the Night Force ATAC R 8x scope, the Schmitten Rubin PM2, which is a 10x optic, the Sig Romeo 1, also with a riser, the Trigicon ACOG, the Trigicon MRO, SRO, SRS, and the Vortex UH1. Lots of optic options for this, which is honestly my favorite part of modding weapons. Then we have Pistol Grips. You have the DD, also in tan. The HK Battle, also in tan. The Hogue 15, also in tan. The Hogue Overmolded, also in tan. The MCX Grip, also in gray and tan. The MIAD, the MIAD, also in tan. And the MOE. Only in black. For the muzzles, we have SIG, SIG Alt, the Muzzle Break VP09, the Muzzle Break Bulltech, also in gray and tan, the Muzzle Break PWS CQB, the Muzzle Break SRDMB, the Muzzle Flash Hider Claymore, the Muzzle Flash Hider Hera, also in green, the Muzzle Flash Hider Noveski, also in green and tan, the Muzzle Flash Hider War Comp, the Suppressor SOCOM, also in tan, also wrapped. The Suppressor SRD Mill, SRD QD, SRD TI 10, and the SRD TI 16. Then we have some rail options. Now for the right upper and left rail, these are all the same, so we're just going to go through them once. That's going to be the Flashlight M600V, the Flashlight X300, the Laser Sight ANPEQ15, or the Laser Sight DBAL2. For the lower rail, however, you have some grip options. So you have none, of course, the AFG, AFG2, FAB, KAC, KAG, the Mod 3, the MVG, RSB, RVG, Shift, Tango, UVG, and VFG. For the charging handle, you have the option between SIG and Schmeiser, which just gives you some better ADS speed. For mags, we have a bunch of options. So when it comes to each magazine, there are four variants, one which has the regular reload, and then one with the dual mag, quick dual mag, and quick reload. So we're only going to say them once, not go through all of their variants as well. So you have Stanag mags, the P mag, the L5 mag, the mag 560, which is a 60 rounder, which also has a quick reload variant, but no dual mag for this one. Now, we're going to actually equip a P mag because there are some color options we can get later. So for handguards, we have different length barrels with different length handguards. So this is the 11 and a half inch barrel with a 10 inch handguard, then the 12 inch handguard and the 16 inch handguard. Then we have a 16 inch barrel with a 12 inch handguard, a alternate 12 inch handguard, the 16 inch handguard and the alternate 16 inch handguard. Then we have a six inch barrel with a 10 and 12 inch handguard, the nine inch barrel with a 10 and eight inch handguard. This is gonna be your shortest handguard available but not the shortest barrel. For mag materials, we have black, flat dark earth, flat dark earth alt, and police. For handguard material, we have all of those variants I was telling you about earlier. And then we have the option to change the sprint from standard to tactical. We have damage modifiers from negative 100% up to positive 100%. And then materials, once again, all of the ones I listed to you earlier. But here is a good look at what they look like on the receiver. And now it is time for the testing portion of the video. 
As you can see, we have three death clouds in front of us as our baseline. The first time we are going to test this weapon fully automatic with the base attachments, no perks. Then we're going to test it again with the max automatic damage, again, with no perks and no damage modifier options, just getting the damage up via actual attachments. And then finally using the semi-automatic weapon with the highest upgraded receiver and ammo type. So we're going to start on the left and let's see how long it takes. And he is down in 42 bullets. Pretty good. Let's see how we fare with a little bit higher damage. And he goes down in just 15. Pretty cool. And now we have the semi-auto variant. Curious to see how this one performs. You'll have to excuse the Rifleman perk there, that seemed to have knocked him down. But we got him with 11 shots regardless. Very, very good. It might actually be worth taking a semi-auto scout variant of the weapon. And I think that covers just about everything. Uh, additionally, this weapon does have support for a tactical reload if you like to use that, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a really great modern weapon. I'm glad to be seeing a lot of these lately. And there's also some really cool vintage weapons coming out too, so keep an eye out for some of those. But all in all, really, really amazing work here by Subleader 100. This is an awesome mod and definitely going to be a mainstay in most people's load order if you like the tactical modern weapons. Lots of options here, definitely worth getting the material pack too. I like that you can mix and match the camos to make it however you want. Overall, dude, this one is just worth downloading. If you've got the space for it, definitely grab it and hopefully we will see a port to Xbox sometime in the future. So if you want to try this mod out for yourself, go ahead and download it, link in the description as always, and also I will be linking Subleader's art station. Feel free to stop by there and like his work so you can promote his stuff and directly support him. And as always, don't forget to go out there and support your mod authors, endorse the mods, donate if you can, anything just to show your appreciation for all of their hard work because they make this stuff for free for our enjoyment. So feel free to go out there and just Show them that you care, and you really like what they're doing. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a rating, subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace! And hey, shout out to all of our patrons for their continued support. As always, your donations are greatly appreciated and help to fund videos just like this one. So, again, thank you.